Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Simplified Basic Concepts. In this video, I'm going to discuss about scalar chain and gangplank. We all know that in any organization, there should be a proper flow of communication, right? So the proper flow of communication should be between the employees who are working in the organization at whatever management level they are, whether they are at <clears throat> whether they are at top management, middle management or lower management, there should be a proper communication between them so that they all can work together and achieve the organizational objectives. Now, this is the basic, right? And also the communication should flow in an order. It shouldn't flow haphazardly which means that there should be a proper sequence of flowing of order. It should be from top management to the lower management, right? And if there is no proper order in which the communication should flow, then this will create communication confusion in all the employees who are working in the organization because nobody will be sure as to who has the authority to communicate the information to the concerned person. So we know that communication is very important for every organization should be a proper order in which the communication should flow. Now, the scalar chain, which is also known as hierarchy of authority. Hierarchy means the ladder of authority. So here ladder of authority means the scalar chain shows that who is at the top management, who is at the lower management and who is at the middle level management, right? The scalar chain is also called as hierarchy of authority. Now, this scalar chain serves as the chain of command and as the chain of communication. Now, what does this mean? We all know that chain means interlinked, right? So, here scalar chain shows how interlinked people are who passes on the command that is instructions from the top management to the lower level management, right? And in the same way, the communication that is any information is also passed in the organization. So, scalar chain simply shows the hierarchy of authority and it explains the chain that is the way in which the instructions and informations in an organization will flow, right? So, under chain of command, we mean that any order or instruction which is issued at the higher level management, it should flow through the intermediate level managers to reach to the lower level managers, right? And in the same way, the information flow in communication also follows up predefined path. Predefined path means the organizational structure is fixed in the same way how the information will flow in the organization has been fixed earlier, right? So, it should always follow in the same way. Now, what does this mean? This means that if there is an any order, any instruction, any message, requests or any explanation which a person wants, then he, there is a fixed hierarchy in the organization through which these informations will pass and come to the concerned person. Now, this is called as scalar chain. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's take an example in which this is the organizational structure of an organization where the top level management is headed by the board of directors. Under him comes the general managers, then the middle level managers, lower level managers follow them. Finally comes the supervisors and the workers. Now we studied that scalar chain is the hierarchy of authority. We see here the hierarchy, a ladder of authority. That is we see here at the top, there is the top level management for which is headed by the board of directors and general managers. Then comes the middle level managers followed by the lower level managers and finally the supervisors and workers. So it is showing the ladder of authority. Now scalar chain simply says that whenever there is any instructions, any command, any communication, then it should always follow this hierarchy of authority. That is if there is any information which the board of director wants to pass to the workers. So he will have to follow this chain 
Now, what is the chain? The information from the board of directors will be passed to the general managers. From general managers, it will move to the middle level manager. The middle level manager will pass the information or the instructions to the lower level manager. He will then pass on the same thing to the supervisor. And the supervisor in turn will pass on the message or information to the workers. So it is this way in which the organization works. That is any information which has to be passed has to follow this proper chain of command or chain of communication. This is what scalar chain says. Now, whatever we have seen here is the flow of authority from top to bottom in one department. Now, let's take an example of two departments. Like right? Now, in the same way, we see here that at the top level, we see here the board of directors. Then comes the managing director. And under the managing director, there is general manager production and general manager sales. Right. Under the general manager production comes the manager of production, followed by supervisors and workers. In the same way, under the general manager sales comes the manager sales, supervisor and worker. Now, here, if any information is to be passed from the board of director to the supervisor of production department, then the sequence pass the information to the managing director. The managing director will pass the same information or instruction to the general manager production. The general manager production will pass on the same thing to the manager production who in turn will give the information or instruction to the supervisor of the production department, right? In the same way, let's consider a situation in which the worker of production department has to communicate something to the worker of the sales department. Now, we know that every department in organization is somehow related. So at times it may happen that the worker, supervisor or manager of one department has to communicate with the worker, supervisor or manager of other department. So what is the way in which they can communicate? Should they simply go and talk with each other informally? Is that the way they should follow? Or there should be a proper sequence which should be followed? So the scalar chain says that there should be always a proper way in which any information has to be flown between any departments or in a department itself, right? Now, we have seen how the information or instruction flows within a department. Now, let's understand this when two departments has to communicate. How will they communicate? So, here if the worker of department production has to communicate something to the worker of department sales. So he will pass on the message to the supervisor of the production department, right? The production department supervisor will pass on the message to the manager production. The manager production in turn will communicate to the general manager production. The general manager production will pass on the information to the managing director. This top level management will get the information. Now from here, the top level management will pass on the information to the general manager sales. The general manager sales will pass the information to manager sales. From there, the supervisor of the sales department will get the information. And finally, the information will be communicated or given to the worker of the sales department. So this is the complete way in which any information, any instruction, anything is communicated in an organization. Right. And this entire process is followed in the scalar chain. Clear? In scalar chain, it is said that it should always be followed and respected in the organization. And this scalar chain will help in solving the routine and non-routine problems, any problems, any communication which has to be passed on within the department or within different departments, the only thing which has to be followed is the scalar chain, right? All orders flow from 
top to bottom and suggestions and complaints flow from bottom to top that is any suggestions or any complaints which an employer has then he can communicate it to his supervisor or boss he in turn will communicate it to the top management so that that complaint or that problem can be sorted out or the suggestions which the lower level management wants to communicate or pass on to the upper level management that can be heard by the upper level management via the mid level management right so i guess the concept of scalar chain is clear till here now if two employees of different departments like we saw in the earlier example say production and sales wish to communicate with each other they will have to follow a long chain in the principle of scalar chain as we saw in the previous example now this chain should be followed if the information to be communicated is important for the managers at different levels right so when a worker of production department has to communicate something to the workers of sales department which is of importance for the managers and general managers of the both departments too then in that case scalar chain is a very important tool. right though at times it may seem very lengthy but the scalar chain confirms every information that is flowing in the organization all the employees have that information right so nobody is out of loop so when everybody has all the informations they all know what actually is going on so this is very important and nobody in this way is left out right so communication through scalar chains at times may involve delays when two subordinates or employees at the same level wants to exchange informations right but at times it may happen that some informations or some messages are to be passed on between the employees of the same level which are not of much importance so at that time the communication through scalar chain seems very lengthy very cumbersome right so to avoid this henry fayol suggested the concept of gangplank right and what did he say that gangplank is a temporary arrangement of communication between employees of two different departments who are at the same level right and what will it do it will facilitate quick and easy communication between them let's understand this with the help of an example Now we saw this example, right, where the worker of the production department had to communicate certain things to the worker of the sales department, and he had to follow the entire chain. And it is very important when the information is of importance, which every level employees should know. That is, the manager of production should also be involved in that information. Then the scalar chain is very important. But we are talking about certain informations which are of not much importance right so in that case henry fayol said that the worker of production department can directly communicate with the worker of sales department right so here this red line shows the direct communication between the worker of two departments and this shortcut method this direct shortcut method is called as gangplank right so here we see that the yellow arrow shows the sequence in which the scalar chain is being followed in which the all the employees at all the levels of the management has to follow that in which they all will get the information but this red line shows the shortcut method in which the employees without following the scalar chain can directly communicate with each other right and this will help in case when the informations to be communicated are not of much importance to the other level managers right in that case gangplank is very helpful so i hope with this the difference between scalar chain and gangplank is clear so do like and subscribe my channel which is simplified basic concepts thank you